I'm Luke Summerhays, and I love Screen Tail. Jigglypuff, or Purin as it's called in Japan, is probably among the top 10 most recognized Pokemon. The children I teach often ask me to draw it, which I oblige because it's pretty easy. It has a decent amount of merchandise, and was of course a big character back in the classic Indigo series of the anime. More recently though, Jigglypuff hasn't had much of the spotlight. There was a brief cameo in the live-action Detective Pikachu, and it continues to appear in the Super Smash Bros. series. In the main series Pokemon games though, we haven't had anything since the introduction of infant form Igglybuff back in the second generation. No Mega Form, no Z-Move, no Alolan, Galarian, or Hisuian variants. That all changed in Area Zero. Screamtail is a Jigglypuff that has straightened out its famous curl into a punk rock quiff, adding some eye shadow and lashes for the vibe of a teen going to their first concert or night on the town. As with all Paradox Pokemon, the genders of Scream Tales are unknown. This feels appropriate to me, as the combination of exaggerated feminine features with monstrous aggression reminds me of some more extreme drag performances. Pokemon Violet's Pokedex says, It resembles a mysterious Pokemon described in a paranormal magazine as a Jigglypuff from one billion years ago. We can read that magazine in the library in Pokemon Scarlet. Enigmas of Paldea, file number 10. Screamtail, a billion year old Jigglypuff? Somewhere in a Paldean forest, it said lurks Screamtail, a being with Jigglypuff's own endearing puffball appearance, but also a ferocious aggression that leads it to attack anyone who comes near. Its primitive appearance and savage nature have prompted rumours that it could be a Jigglypuff from one billion years ago. It's named after a creature in the Scarlet Book that is described as having a distinctive tail and scream. We should probably not take this magazine or the Pokedex based on it too seriously though. One billion years is a very long time. One billion years ago on our Earth, life had barely grown large enough to be seen outside of a microscope. Pokemon Scarlet says, There has been only one reported sighting of this Pokemon. It resembles a mysterious creature depicted in an old expedition journal. Unlike Jigglypuff and its immediate family, which are a combination of the normal and fairy types, Screamtail is a combination of psychic and fairy, with considerable bulk and access to moves like Protect, Disable and Perish Song, Screamtail is capable of making itself a very irritating opponent to fight against. As I mentioned more than five years ago on this very podcast, the very first hostel I stayed in when I came to Japan had a big stuffed Jigglypuff in the common area. It was one of the first signs that maybe I'd made the right decision, flying to Tokyo with no plan. If it had been a Screamtail sitting there, I'd have taken a similar message, but the vibes would have been much more, as they say in drag, <laughs> Music for Luke Loves Pokemon is composed by Jonathan Cromie. Artwork for the show is by Katie Groves. Writing, producing and editing is by me, Luke Summerhays. While funding is provided by lovely listeners at patreon.com slash podcastiopodcastius. Next up are Brute Bonnet and Fluttermane. So if you have thoughts about those or any other monsters, hit me up with a DM or an email to lukelovespkmn at gmail.com. If you like this podcast, please rate and review wherever you're listening, or tell a friend. And if you want to hear more Pokemon chatter from me, come by twitch.tv slash lukelovespkmn, most Saturday nights from 9pm UK time. And even if you don't feel like doing any of that, thank you so much just for listening. I love Screamtail, and remember, I love you too.